Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we are playing Swain Top. I think Swain Top is in a much greater spot than last season because of how big the lane is. So in your good matchups, it's really easy to run down your opponent. I get an early ward on blue because I saw them invading bot side. So now I can tell where the jungle is starting. This is really helpful when you're playing top lane. Because if you know the enemy jungler is pathing away from you, which he is this game, this will allow you to play so aggressive, it's insane. And you can really bully people with summon area scorch and your range advantage in top lane. So just immediately walk up auto queue. Wait until your area is back on cooldown and just keep queuing him every time he walks up. He does have the shield second wind, so it will take some harass to get through to him, but eventually he will break. Look closely at my positioning. I am standing really far up. I am in a position where I can punish every single CS he goes for. Do not let him get anything for free. And remember, we saw jungle is pathing down bot, so it's okay to be really aggressive. Even though you should be focusing a lot on harassing, make sure you get the last hits though, so you don't fall behind in gold. When he stands like this close to his tower, it's really easy to land your E. So now all I do is wait for my cannon to get low, because I know he will step up. Then that's a guaranteed E. More stacks, more harass. Lane is looking pretty good. I can first move top because I have it pushed right now and a fight is about to happen so I'm actually considering running down there but since my team wins on their own I just go back top. Do not roam for no reason, make sure there's a high chance you get a reward. He is actually really hitting the wave mindlessly here and now look at the wave it's actually gonna start pushing towards me and it looks like he's gonna recall TP back I will of course not allow this so I try and stop him he runs further back in TPs. This means that I now need to push as fast as I can. So he's gonna TP back. And I want to base myself. So crash this wave. And recall. Because I based last, I actually get to spend more gold. Meaning now that I TP back, I have an item advantage. Look, he has a not a magic mantle, I have a blasting one. So I should be able to pressure him even harder now. I'm getting him low HP so he cannot move around the map. I'm farming plates. He's probably losing CS on the tower. We are building up a CS gap. Swain Top is actually pretty strong against these melee champs. I can just perma harass and get an advantage. Nocturne takes grubs, but I'm not scared to stay because I can probably 1v2 with Ulden Ghost. So I just hard off the wave and now look at the wave actually. Because it stacks up to finish my minions off, this is actually gonna push towards me now. Okay, and a fight happens so I cancel my recall run down. But this is really good because as we said before, the wave is pushing to me top. So I'm not losing anything. Meanwhile, Cassante is losing way more, okay. So I come down here with Ghost and Ult. And I think we can play this, if we just play slow, let me heal up, I'm really strong with this blasting one. And just look at this, this is legit what I'm preaching about a lot. Swain is so incredibly powerful, level 6, because his ultimate is so broken in these river fights. Nobody has damage yet to burn you at all. And now take a look at the wave I arrived back to. This is the result of the slight grouping of his melee minions, making it worth for me to move down there without losing anything. But I actually get Cassante here, and uh, yeah, uh, just see for yourself. Nonetheless, we're still in a really good spot. I just come back, clear the wave. Cassante is not here, so I insta shove it. We actually up like 20 CS, so it's all okay. Again, look at the melee minions. His minions are more grouped than mine, meaning they start hitting my minions earlier. 
Meaning it's gonna push towards me. So I just chill. Don't hit the wave here. Hold the wave in the middle. Then it's easier to fight him. And poke him down. He jumps me. And I honestly just want to get him off me. So I ultimate. I can use the ult explosion to clear the wave as well. So I can hopefully get a recall off soon. Because Drake is spawning soon, I actually want to do a very nice top lane play. Where you recall and instead of just going back top, you kind of sacrifice the waves and run down towards bot side to create a man advantage for like a fight or a Drake fight or, or something like that. But my team actually wins without, so I just move around the map, try to look for something mid, come back top now. It's a very nice play if you're looking for some more impact as a top laner. Cassante all ends me with half HP, surely I can 1v1 him. After kill, quickly shove out the wave, recall and spend your gold so you are staying ahead. The biggest bait I usually see is people just overstaying for plates guys. Tempo is super important, remember to base. I just make it back in time to collect the big wave that's been stacking up and now I just insta hard shove it. I'm in level 10, I don't think it's super worth to like try and freeze or anything at this point. Just hard shove every wave and move around the map for place, okay? No more freezing. I try and see if Kazante is recalling in any of the bushes and a bot fight is happening. I really want to push this wave but since they all in now and I see Kazante TP, I kinda need to match it. But my team are just smurfing it, so now I get to corner Kazante and just look how goofy he looks now. True high elo gameplay right here. Since my other solo laner Aatrox is going top, I can just completely go mid and push the waves now. Don't share too much XP, so make sure you are split up in different lanes, so you get as many resources as possible. I've been having good success with Rylai's first and Cosmic second, he just become a monster in team fights. Because of the insane utility you are providing. It's really important to keep the mid lane shoved, okay? Always make sure the wave is killed and then you can go move and make plays. My team gets engaged on the top, so we just insta force Drake now to trade on the other side of the map. I really want to go bot and just show out these waves, get even more golden XP, but Vigo is forcing place at Raptors. So I try and move to make sure we don't drop our bounties or anything. Finally the skirmish is over, I can just sit back in bot lane, push out 2-3 two to three waves and get my items. I'm very strong now. Again, I do have TP, I'm always ready to join these fights, but don't TP unless it's necessary. It's much better if my team can win on their own, I can just stay mid and make sure the waves are not crashing into a tower and we are collecting even more gold. I cannot TP here because of Nocturnal, so I'll be late for the fight. And now it's too late to TP, so I don't want to just waste it. But I see Viego actually chasing Blitzcrank down towards me, so now I just run to him instead. And they completely overextend, they have forgotten all about me.
And now look at this glorious Rylai's cosmic combination. How can the enemy ever escape me? I am legit so fast and and I'm slowing everyone so much. Kasante is just dead meat here. But he was still kinda hard to kill and since they have some bruisers and tanks, I go for Leandri's third here. Getting tier 2 tower should be high up on your bucket list guys. It gives 700 gold. It's so insane, it's almost like getting a 1k gold bounty. You get so much money. But since they are okay mixed damage and my team kinda needs some more frontline, I go for Jack Show 4th here. Catching a member like Twitch off is really important, as this will give us much more room to run down mid and push because they are down a person. They foolishly try to defend and now we just run them down with our high mobility and slow. Swain top feeling a lot better this season. It's still not his strongest role, I still think that goes to mid or APC. But it's definitely an improvement. Hope you enjoyed today's video and good luck on your climb. Thanks for watching.